All right, let's clear the dogs off the set. All dogs off the, the set. set. All right, gloves on that dog. He's out of control. She gets very excited when you stretch your hips, your back. When you get total body flexibility, she goes crazy. Remember this hat, cap? Walmart special here in Evergreen, Colorado. Let's put it on. I'm warmed up. I just ran around the yard a little bit. I paced. I got the mail, which really warms me up. Let's be getting downward facing dog. We're going to hold these poses longer than we're used to. Definitely a deep kind of yin yoga stretching. Men and women, all levels. Let's come to downward facing dog. Lengthen those arms. Feet hip width. Deep breathing in the stretches. You can breathe in the nose, out the nose. Classic yoga breath. Or breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Don't breathe out your belly button. In the nose, out the mouth is a Pilates way of breathing. It's always on the exhale, you want to lengthen. So in down dog, we're lengthening the arms. Open the fingers wide. Sink those heels down with every exhale and lengthen from behind the knees. Let us breathe. I'll switch up my breath, of course. I talk a little bit, so I run out of breath, which is very smart. Stretch out those arms. Got a nice blue compression shirt on today. I was told that blue and gray go very well zusammen, together. Good, long, lean, functional, pliable muscles, ligaments, tendons. Even imagine stretching out the bones and then watching Bones Brigade, the search for animal chin after that. Thumbs up if you remember watching that. Let's do five more breaths. Good. Lengthen tailbone up towards the sky. Two more breaths. Neck is loose. And once more, big stretch for your hamstrings and your lower back. All right, let the knees come down. A little back bend. Woo! <laughs> We were down there for a while. It's called the back bend or the camel. Take your hands either to your lower back here or reach back. Right hand, right ankle, or heel, left hand, left heel. Let's breathe right here, open the chest. If it becomes too intense, and it may, these stretches can really hit you. That's why stretching is very challenging. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of energy, a lot of breath. If it becomes too much, just pop out of it for a moment, shake it out, and join us again. Good. Breathe into these deep abdominal muscles. You want this area to actually expand, to pooch out. I trained as an opera singer for many years, sang, sang opera and music theater for many years, and that's the exact same way that we studied. You breathe in deep, front, sides, and back. Tone the core, lift the core. It's a much deeper breath than breathing into the chest or the shoulders. So let your pooch out. Got pooch. Ich habe eine Pooch. Je Pooch. Tango Pooch, whatever. All right, five more breaths. Really stretches your quads also. Two more. And let's do one more breath. Oh. Magnifico, all right. Woo. Down dog twist. Come back to down dog. Bring the feet a little further apart, outside edges of your mat, or a little wider than hip width. We're gonna twist it. Take your left hand, reach it across right here. Now, use that hand for some leverage. We're gonna twist out the sides, stretch the hamstrings and the back. Lengthen. Remember, this stretch is called the best dam, so we really gotta make it that way. We'll stay focused, very precise with our stretches. Definitely in the moment, enjoying. <sighs> 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 
lengthen that right arm, get the stretch in the shoulder as well in the arm. Let's do five more breaths. Exhale, pull a little bit more, add the twist, clean out the sides. Rather a, a detoxing effect. <sighs> These stretches can be done anywhere, anytime, before your workout, during your workout, after your workout. It, it fits so nicely into any schedule. No weights, no machines. <sighs> All right, one more breath. Twist, twist, twist. Ooh. All right, we're gonna come down. Once again, back bend or camel. Just five breaths this time before we go to the other side. And I'm ready, here we are. Big dramatic entrance. <sighs> Massage the abdominals even. Don't worry, I mean, we talk about hips, hamstrings, and lower back. We're gonna, we stretch everything, everything in these stretches. There's a dog right there. Anyone know whose dog that is? She's sniffing my feet. All right, down dog twist, other side. That was the best damn dog attack right there. Let's bring it back to downward facing dog with the twist. <laughs> All right, downward facing dog with the twist, other side. Bring it up, feet to the outside edges. Take your right hand, reach it across, and let's twist. As you sink those beautiful heels down, enjoy my socks. Lengthen that front arm. Good. Really dig in deep. Enjoy the pine trees. That lower back, it's a beautiful stretch here. Nice twist. Let's do five more breaths. Really lay into it. Two more breaths. You will not regret doing these stretches, I tell you. All right. <laughs> Come on down. Let's do some serious hip opening here. Starting with the butterfly. Always did the butterfly in track. Look at that. Look how I just turned that down there. Special skills in this hand. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Do a little side angle here. Now, a little secret to the butterfly, a lot of people won't tell you, they just won't tell you this. Take your elbows, use those elbows to open the hips further. So as you hinge forward, you're opening the hips, you're getting a nice stretch in your spine too. Each exhale, go a little further. Massive hip and back stretch, also your knees. Very important, knees get tight. Lucky me, I had a massage this morning. Oh man. So. This is definitely the kind of video I want to film on a day I get a massage. It's like a, another massage. <sighs> Self-inflicted massage. <sighs> Good, the muscles are loose. I just want to stretch, keep hinging, open those, those knees a little bit more. Don't be discouraged if your knees are a little higher than mine. I stretch a lot. It's my job. It's my job. So, I'm going to keep those hips loose. I actually, I stretch every single night in our loft upstairs, I put on old movies, I do work, it's just a wonderful time. Addie snoozes, snoozes with me. Well, not with me, I'm not snoozing, but I do all sorts of stretching while I'm working. All right, let's do three more breaths. Open those hips. Good. I want to hold these stretches longer than we are used to, to really bust through that threshold and make that difference. You want every exercise you do every workout every session to be an experience to definitely make a huge improvement in your overall health and fitness and your life oh all right now lift it up let's do the hurdle stretch take your left leg bring it forward right foot is in right foot in all right shoulders are back we're going to turn you want to be off that left leg just as important as the actual stretch is how do you get into it. You want to maximize your potential. So you turn on that leg, take the arms up, hinge forward, grab the toes, feet, ankles, wherever you can. Each exhale, let's hinge forward. You want a little bit more, shoot for the outside of that left leg. So we're getting an extra stretch, a little more twist in there. And every time you exhale, you're hinging forward, 
using your body weight to mash the back of that leg down. I may talk a lot, but I want you to get everything you can out of every stretch. I'm very greedy. I'm a greedy bastard when it comes to my own fitness. I want to eat the best foods. I want to stretch the best way. I want to maximize my efforts so I don't waste a second. And I want you to be that way too. It's your health. It's your fitness. Take care of it. Nobody else can. It's up to you. And when you actually do it, it means so much more than a meme or a platitude or something. You're actually doing the stretches. All right, I'll shut up. Five more deep breaths. Try to, I know I'm talking, but try to get more oxygen in and out each time. Maximize your oxygen uptake so you can maximize the stretch. Two more breaths. Oh, so nice. All right, let's go to the other side. Hurdle stretch. Bring your right leg forward. Left foot comes in. Cap is looking nice. Turn off that right leg. Up and over. Up and over. Length. Just keep breathing with me. Keep stretching. Feel it out. Five more breaths. Five more. Hamstrings, tight hamstrings go directly into your back, making life just hell. One more breath. Okay. Let's do a little back bend in here before we go into the next stretch. A little cross legged position, lace the fingers behind you. Mudra. Drop those shoulders down, open the chest. M U D R A. M U D R A. Shoulders down, tuck the chin a little bit. Add a little back bend in there. Huge stretch. I recommend the mudra anytime during the day. It's one of the few stretches you can do in public. It doesn't look very obscene or awkward. You can add it in while you're standing in line to buy your groceries. Two more breaths. Open a little wider palms together if you're able. And once more. And everybody's happy. Oh, shake it out. The tortoise stretch. Tortoise. Again, bottoms of the feet together. If this is too much for right now, I'll go back to the butterfly. Out of context, that sounds really interesting. Tortoise. Bring the feet a little further forward. Take those arms, slide them underneath the legs. Now you want your palms flat because you want to use those fingertips to dig into the mat and draw yourself forward. Keep slipping the arms a little further at your own discretion. Here we go. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift just a little bit, always reinforcing the lengthening up and over. This goes much more directly into your lower back, too. If you're liking these stretches, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe, share it with all of your workout buddies. Stretching may just be your secret weapon. Staying loose and flexible and youthful. So whatever else you do, you will do it with more control, precision, and flexibility. You'll do it longer. Your career, whatever you like doing, you'll do it much longer. And these stretches are always with you. You can do them anytime, anytime. What movie is that from? Comment below. Anytime. Five more breaths. Lengthen, lengthen. 
I'm going to do one more extra credit breath. Five points to Gryffindor. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Tortoise. Thank you. You made my day. Bring those arms back through. Oh, kind of tough to re-emerge after that. Let's do that mudra one more time. Place the fingers behind you. This time, stay here for a moment. We're going to do the back bend. Okay, okay. You know, the town that I live in in Colorado, Trey Parker grew up in. So maybe we need to add more South Park references to these videos. Okay. I don't watch them. I've seen Team Ameri America a bunch of times. I need to do that. Hi, <laughs> hey, Hans. All right, that's enough of that. I won't do that. All right, stay here, my friend, or you can dive forward. Bring the top of the head, the crown of the head to the mat as you reach the arms back. Huge shoulder and chest stretch. As you inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw them towards the back of the head. Let me shake it out for a moment. There we are. Sometimes you lose the circulation. Five more breaths. How did you spend your day? Well, I put the crown of my head on the mat and lifted my arms into a mudra. All in all, it was a fantastic day. Happy Halloween, by the way. Halloween's tomorrow. One more breath. Here we go. Oh. 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 All right. Shake it out. Now we go to the reverse hurdle. H-U-R-D-L-E. Shake it out. A little sensation back in the fingers. Time. Take the left leg forward. We're going to invert the right leg. If it's too much, go back to the classic hurdle and work your way up to this. We're going to work, stretch your quad in this as well. Also challenges your core and your balance a little bit more. Okay? So same rules as before. We're going to lock it onto that left leg. Get your breath ready. All right. Exhale up and over. Remember, if you want more, right hand to the outside and keep stretching. Smush, smush, smush the back of that left leg down. All these compound stretches, tri-pound, where we we not only get the, the stretch, we get this, we get the twist, we just keep adding on more deliciousness to the stretch. Make sure you're breathing. You should be able to hear that breath. It's like a stereo system in your ears. Five more breaths. Once things start to shake, you know it's really working. Definitely reaching into your threshold and beyond. Always a pleasure. All right, before we go to the other side, let's go with the straddle stretch. Okay, bring those legs out. Good grief, I love the straddle stretch. As far as you can go. Remember, don't try to compare yourself with what I'm doing. You might do more, you might do less. Find where you're at in that stretch. Find your own range of motion. Carpe diem. All right, shoulders are back. We're nice and tall. Now bring those fingers down with each exhale. Walk them a little forward, a little further forward. Huge hip and hamstring and, well, we're just hitting everything. I won't bore you with the details. You get to feel it firsthand. That's what she said. This is what sie hat gesagt. Even if you're dropping down to the ground, keep lengthening. you want more, reach out, grab the feet or the ankles and use those hands to pry open the hips a little more. Five more breaths.
can even slip the hands under the legs if you like. There we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the stuff. Oh, mama. The old mama stretch. Oh. You want to feel like you did before you ever thought about what a workout was. You just ran all day. You played all day. That's what you want. That's the flexibility. That is the youth. All right, now bring it up. Oh, let's go to that rehe uh, rehearse, that reverse hurdle on the other side. Right leg forward. Invert, because I was inverted. Bullshit! All right, there we are. Now get your balance right off that right leg. Let's stretch. It's all yours. He's all yours. I don't know about you, but my hamstrings are very happy right now. If you don't have the time for this entire sequence, you can just choose a few of the stretches and do them. You can do a great stretching routine in about a minute or two. If you got the time, you got the focus, I recommend holding each stretch for at least five to ten deep breaths. No bouncing, just a long stretch right in there. <sighs> Where is your favorite place to stretch? Do you stretch? Do you stretch at the gym, at home, at work? Comment below in this video. Tell me where you stretch. I want to hear about that. People send me the funniest emails about where they do some of these workouts. I love it. Five more deep breaths. And two more. My toes are rapidly becoming numb. That's all part of the process. And one more breath. We stretch, we stretch. Oh. I mean, once you hit that spot, you don't really want to come out of the stretch. At first, like, damn, that's tight. That's the best damn tight stretch. But then, once you get past that threshold, you start making all those gains and improvements, and you really you want to keep going. Let's come back to the straddle, my friend. Let us all straddle together, right, Addies? Okay. This time, straddle side bend. Let's, I'll mirror you. I want you to come to the right side. Take the right hand, leg up and over. Draw that left shoulder back and breathe. Stay focused, stay precise. There are no accidents here. Everything has a purpose. It's a meditation with that breath. Great way to shut out all the distractions. There's no past, there's no future, there's only right now. It's all we really have is right now, that's it. Focus on it, cherish it, be thankful as heck for it. Five more breaths. I'm going to do one more breath here. I just can't stand it. I want to stay here. I'm going to sleep here and take a nap. Oh, shoot. Is it that time again? we got to go to the other side. All right. If we must, we must. Let's come up. My, This side is about a foot longer than the other side. <laughs> I look like a fool. Let's go to the other side and balance it out. Here we go. Let me fidget with my shirt. The old compression shirt. This came all the way from Korea, if you can dig that. Hi to all my Korean friends out there watching, doing these stretches. There we are. Anywhere around the world, we just need this little spot to do. We can all do it together. It's pretty marvelous. Pretty amazing. <sighs> love it. I love that I'm able to do this with you. <sighs> I think we're just stuck together. There's no stopping us. Here comes a school bus. Whew. Got a little scratch there. 
do five more breaths. Just snuggle into that stretch. Ausgezeichnet, it. Sehr ausgezeichnet. it. Was für ein schönes Stretch. Oh, this is fantastic. Let's do an extra breath here. I don't want to leave. It feels so nice. Ah, all right, with your inhale, we got to come up. Bring it up. I'm balanced, all right? Walk it forward one more time. Full straddle stretch as far as you like to go. I hope I'm not going off the camera. I might be a little bit, but trust me, I'm here. Again, I'm gonna take the hands, I'm gonna bring them under here. Do what you need to do. So we got some snow coming, it snowed this morning. It's October 30th, we got snow. We got movement. Keep hinging, loose hips, more flexibility is youth. Keep that mantra, that mantra in your head. The more you stretch, the looser you feel, the younger you feel back to those days where you ran and played all day. Never got stiff, never were tight. You could get up the next morning and do it again. I just did a video on that on this channel, on this YouTube channel, a couple couple videos ago. It's called What's It All About? So check that out as well. Really enjoyed making that for you. Five more breaths. One more, one more. Oh my lord, okay. Come on up, come up slowly. Quick flex right there. All right, bring the legs together. They may spasm, that's why we bring them together and we do the little shake. The hippie, hippie shake. Oh, let's stretch that lower back. I want you to come down to a little cobra stretch here. So take the hands underneath the shoulders, just lift up right here. Elbows into the sides, they're bent a little bit. Shoulders are down, squeeze the glutes. Might just do a couple more and then come out with a best damn number two for these stretches. We'll see. I don't want to stop. It's so fun. Add a little twist here. Back and forth. Loosen the lower back. Oh, marvelous. Just marvelous. Okay. I'm going to come to the pyramid stretch. I want to just bring this up a little bit here. Don't mind me. Pyramid. Right foot forward, left leg back, sink that left heel down. Each exhale, lengthen this leg. Get your calf, get your hamstrings, your back, and your shins right in here too. Keep lengthening. If it's too much to touch the floor, take your fingers to the leg. This is your leg. I want you to enjoy that leg. What a pleasure. Let's do five more breaths. Wipe your nose on your knee. Oh, man, so good. Two more. Now, from here, we go to the reverse triangle. Take your back foot, pivot it out just a little bit. Take your left hand next to the foot. Take your right arm, reach it to your lower back. If you want more, you can take the hand to the other side of the foot. That's up to you, or on the foot. Draw that right shoulder back. Big stretch for your IT band right here. IT band goes from your hip into your knee. I'd say the full name, but I always mess up the pronunciation, so. I'll just say I don't know it right now. <laughs> Good, twist it out. Lengthen that right leg. Look at all those people driving by, not stretching. I can see the sadness in their eyes. Maybe we'll get them down here. Lead by example, right? Just 
just keep telling people. Keep sharing it with everybody. Tell everybody. <sighs> Get them on the programs. <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm weeping. Five more breaths. Excuse me a moment. Sorry about that. Two more breaths. Here we go. Oh, loosen up that back. And one more. Oh, -ho. all right. Pyramid, other side. Bring your left foot forward. Here we go. Line it up. And also pay close attention. That back heel, really sink it down. Get a calf stretch and hamstring stretch there as well. Five more breaths. Boom. Cinco. Cinque? No. My Italian's not very good. I've sung a lot of operas in Italian, or arias, rather. <sighs> Don't know why I mentioned that. <sighs> I'm a little stretching delirium right now. Two more breaths. Really lengthen. The side's a little, little tighter, but we do both sides, keep it even, keep it balanced. Okay, now reverse triangle, pivot the right foot out, and right hand down, here we go. It's all yours. Five more breaths. Stretch it out. Really squeeze out the sides. Rinse them out. Woo, two more. Two more breaths. Okay. Who's that? Oh, what a delight. All right, let's finish off with a little pigeon series here. Massive hip opener, stretching everything else, and giving praise to the pigeon. The bird, bring the right leg forward, open that hip. All right, let me show you a couple tricks of the trade. They won't tell you in the major pigeon magazines. <laughs> you want to be right over the center of the pose. Let me just move that there. Addie's on the move. Take the hands a little bit. Let's rock it side to side, loosen up those hips. Loosen up the lower back, the glutes. There we go, side to side. If you like, you can bring the forearms down. A little pigeon plank, as it were. Also getting a nice stretch in your hip flexor, in your left leg. Whew. Yeah, if you want to see a sequel to this stretch, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment below. Say, I want a sequel, I want to see more, I want to do more. Because believe me, there's a lot more in the arsenal for these stretches. Do it side to side. Got to unlock the hips, unlock the glutes. I like that movement. The movement definitely brings it out a little more. Now we add the twist. Take your left forearm down, reach your right arm back, grab. Either you can take the arm here to your lower back, or if you're able, grab the top of that foot. Bring it towards you. Now we got the twist, the hip opener, the back stretch, and a quad stretch. The quadriceps, the tops of the thighs. Very troublesome area for all of us. It doesn't really get a lot of attention as far as stretching or massaging, but we use them all the time. <sighs> I do a lot of hiking here. I hike every day, so going downhill definitely works the quads a lot. Ah, there we are. 
our bring that leg, move the foot a little side to side. You can twist a little more. Be careful of tipping. Ooh, that is the quad howl. Such a sad cry. I find it the saddest of all the keys. D minor. <laughs> this one goes to 11. Make my love pump. There we are. Let's do five more breaths. Whew. Keep engaging that twist, the hip opener, everything to compound, tri pound, quattro pound, <laughs> four pound. One more breath. Ooh. All right, finish with the proud pigeon. Bring it back, take the hands up towards your body and just lift nice and tall. Shoulders back and down, nice back bend. Want to balance out the back bends with the inversions. An inversion is when your head goes below your waist. A lot of these stretches emphasize going that direction, a little up and over. We like to add the back bend in. <sighs> Listen to that lower back. Sun coming out somewhere over there. The weather in the Rockies is very strange. It changes about every 30 seconds. Whew. One more breath, lifting a little higher. All right, let's go to the pigeon on the other side. Left leg forward. Let's get right over the center, walk that left foot as far forward as possible. And let's go side to side. Ah, dig into the hip, into the glute. Are side to side. Hope you're feeling well. It's definitely going to be a challenge if you've never done these before. They're they're very accessible, but of course, the first time you do them, you're going to feel them in such a profound way. But your body will be so thankful. It wants to stretch. It wants to be loose. It wants to open up. Your body is constantly healing itself. It wants to be healthy. Good analogy is if you cut yourself, your body will do everything it can to repair that cut. It doesn't want to be wounded. So give it what it needs, the stretching, the core training, eating healthy. Eat your plant-based whole foods. I can't recommend that enough. Get your broccoli, your, your uh, apples, a couple apples a day. Oh, oh, Eddie, easy. Oh, shit. Okay, that was a close one, wasn't it? Anyway, plant-based foods, eat your beans, let me get this over here. Keep stretching. Stay in that. Look at look. We just did that effortlessly. <laughs> Eat your beans, your nuts, your your lentils, your barley. That's what I recommend. If you ever have questions, you know, talk to a nutritionist. Whew. But yeah, I haven't touched meat in over six months now. And uh, I got. I mean, it sounds it might sound cliche, but I've never felt better. I'm 41 years old. Uh, Definitely switch my diet around a little bit and focus on those plant-based foods. All right, are we ready for the twist? I think we are. Let's take the right arm down, left arm either to your lower back or grab that foot. There we are. Stretch it out. We got the twist. We got the quad stretch. We got Addie rubbing herself there. Each exhale, twist a little bit more, my friend. <sighs> if that squirrel makes a sound now, I'm dead. Addie's going to choke me with this long line. Let's see if that happens. How exciting to watch. <laughs> Easy, you stay there. Your mom's coming home soon. Get to see your mom soon. Yes, you do. Addie will be four years old on November 11th. Make sure you wish her a happy birthday. Four years of beasting. Five more breaths. Sure, I keep that hip open. There we go. All right, let's do one more breath, one more time. Oh, 
so nice. Again, I don't want to get out of it. I'm starting to really expand there. Okay, let's call it quits with that one, my friend. Well, I mean, you can keep checking back on this YouTube channel, and you'll be seeing you know, more and more stretching uh, all the time. Come to a seated position, cross-legged. Take the shoulders back and down. Let's put our finishing stamp on this, as we always do. Side bend. Inhale up. Let's take it to the other side. Oh, keep that spine limber. Take the arms up. Here's a great postural move. We come from a back bend into the cactus arms. So pull the shoulders back, open the chest. You want to keep those shoulders back and down. When those shoulders roll forward, it cuts off your breath. It basically just suffocates you. So you spend your entire day fighting that. All your energy reserves go towards fighting that bad posture. So inhale, bring the arms up. Let's do that one more time. Back bend into cactus arms. Good. Think of it as having just a like a rebate, a tax rebate of energy when you got that good posture going. You don't have to spend so much energy fighting it. You can use that extra energy however you like. <sighs> All right. Bring those arms up. Hands together. Slowly bring the hands down. Fantastic. The best damn hips, lower back, and hamstring stretch. A pleasure, my friends. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. Check out my new paperback, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press. It's at Barnes & Noble. Wherever books are sold, go to seanvigfitness.com for all levels, every sport, every activity, full color photos. Look at those. And at seanvigfitness.com too, I've, I've written four ebooks, all fitness ebooks. Check that out at my website and sign up for my free fitness app for Apple and Android. Love keeping you guys busy with all my stuff, as convenient as possible, as fun as possible, and as effective as possible, living a long and healthy and fun and sarcastic life. A pleasure as always, my friend. Share it on, and I will see you real soon. Sean V. Sean v. is like, uh... Anything to say, Addy? Hey, where's your mom? Where's your mom? All right, see you soon. God bless. No more talk of darkness, forget these wide-eyed fears, I'm here with you beside you to clean up your eye boogers.